What's going on, everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. The year of 2023 is almost coming to an end. So if you have watched my previous video where I shared all the beautiful fragrances that I've experienced in 2023, it's a combination of both old releases and some new ones. So those were like newly acquired in my collection. So that's why I shared that video. But this particular one was that last minute haul. So this is probably the last batch of fragrances that I'm, I've got in 2023. So let's start off the list with Zaharov Signature Pour Arm. Like this is the OG. This is what started the Zaharov brand or line of fragrances. That's what George says. And um, beautiful stuff. The first one that I ever tried from this house was Zaharov Signature Royale X. But this one, I was a bit late to the game, but this is a beautiful stuff. Like it smells very different, very gentlemanly. Um, this fragrance, if you ask me personally, like, what do I feel like? I feel this is more like that, a really good close shave with a straight razor and you apply this fragrance, you dress up and you head out. That's the kind of feeling that I got from this wonderful fragrance, Zaharov Signature Per Om. Next up was the much coveted YSL tuxedo now this fragrance was so much hyped about so many clone videos blah blah blahs and I, and then one fine day i went to marshall's i tested it out um not this one the clone and i thought if a clone smells this good i better not waste a single dime on a clone i would rather invest in the og so i got a partial bottle and loving it so far i think there are some performance issues over with this one tuxedo but um yeah let's let's see let's see over time how it does what it does so yeah i'm still testing it out so ysl tuxedo beautiful stuff the next three that i'm going to share with you this was from an indie house and this particular house was pretty much well talked about so i got really interested so i thought like hey let me just take a shot and if you have watched my first impression of these three fragrances, you know already, but those of you who missed it, go ahead and watch it. But I'm going to start off this list of uh, this next tree from the house of Untamed Perfume. So that's a Tanimal decant they sent me. It's uh, courtesy um, of Untamed Perfume. This one is called Running with the Wolves. Beautiful stuff like cherry, pepper, um, leather. It's, it's a very different fragrance, very unisex. Beautiful, fruity, masculine. At the same time, it's dark, mysterious. Just like the animal wolf. Like, beautiful stuff. Very potent because these are all extraits. Really love this stuff. Especially the dry downs. Like, mmm. Very different. Next up is My Greek Lover. Now, this is a very playful fragrance. It's got a lot of citrus fruits. And then there's the, some floral aspects with um, civet. Now, civet kind of gives it that animalic vibe. So with, with the freshness from all that fruits and sweetness from all the juicy fruits, and then there, there's the presence of, I think, bergamot or lime. Like, it's a very, very different and unique fragrance. My Greek Lover, it's, it's like beautiful. Like, when it dries down, especially with the animalic vibe, that's like very subdued but you know like you feel it but it's not like that yuck kind of thing it's a beautiful fragrance i must say again x straight 30 ml bottles pretty expensive but you know it's worth the money you can always buy those small decants and request them for samples if you want untamed perfumes my greek lover last but not the least this one was a beautiful fragrance again you keep on hearing me saying beautiful, 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 but I'm just bringing to you fragrances that I absolutely enjoyed throughout this whole year or these three, like the last couple of, couple of days. So this is again, Untamed Perfume. This is called Salish Sea. Beautiful, salty, earthy kind of feeling with this fragrance, aquaticness. It's such a nice balance between everything. There's some sort of a green hint. I will do a full review, don't worry. But this fragrance is very, very different. One might say that, hey, um, checking out the notes, you know, I get that smoky vibe, saltiness, pepperiness. Is it the Tom Ford Oud Mineral clone or something? No. This one, well, definitely Oud Mineral and this one might walk in the same direction because they're both aquatic, oceanic, rocky, mineral kind of vibe. But this one, this particular one, it just stands out. It's a very different fragrance. It's nowhere close to Tom Ford's Wood Mineral. 
beautiful stuff anybody any aquatic fragrance lover this is a must try fragrance that concludes my entire like um set of fragrances that i enjoyed all throughout 2023 well this was the last haul the last batch of fragrance that i got of course there's gonna be more in 2024 so wishing everybody a happy new year if you're watching this video later so good luck for 2024 and i Hope you smell better in 2024 with all the brand new releases that are coming out. So until the next one, guys, stay happy, stay blessed, and take care. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, man. These videos need to go up. My channel needs to go all the way up. I love you all. Take care.